Dear Mary, where to start and what to say, except I expect you never want to see me again, which I'd understand, of course, because as I write this, I'm scared that trust once broken is gone forever. I'd be off then. Right. MOTing the hearse. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Cecil's in the chapel. Right, thanks, thanks. See ya. I don't want to try and justify anything. Having said that, I need you to know that it was never my idea to say I was a community worker. It was the dating agency who suggested that. But so what? In the end, you were still lied to. Inside! Jemima! Inside! You're not working today? Yeah, just been called. But Rick's going to help us court tile the kitchen floor. What are you talking about? The kitchen floor is fine. And I do not want Rick in the flat all the time. Oh, yeah. Why do you do this to me? Because you won't find a better man in the whole of England. Oh, stop it, please. Miss, I can do better than that. Well, we'll see. Mum, it's for you. Rick wasn't what I wanted when I was with him, and he's not what I want now, OK? I wish you could just get that into your head. Mum, it's the dating agency. School. I've done my ankle in, haven't I? Oh, what, so you take the day off? I don't think so. Get in the car and I'll give you a lift. Go on. Yes, hello. Yes, speaking. And can I just say this is crap? Why it's taken you a whole week to get back to me? I mean, it's strange, isn't it? When you want my money, you see me the same day, but... Look, I'll call you back in my mobile, OK? She doesn't want me to do this, does she? She doesn't know what she wants. She's a mess. Like mother, like daughter. She's a mess. A mess! Don't you give up on her, Rick. She'll have all these men, but... Who cares? She'll come round. I know she will. I knew it. And you were lied to, and that's like taking a blind person by the arm and walking them into a lamppost. Will they want to go any further with you? All I hope, with hope on hope... Cecil Tompkins' family here to see him. Oh, um, th thank you. Is that having read this letter, you'll give me another chance. Yours, William. Shawcross. Just wait outside. All right. Yeah. Uh, cup of tea? Aye, sir. Yeah. It's just in case, OK? I am having this baby here, at home, until someone who knows something about it tells me otherwise. She doesn't need an ambulance, Alistair. Look, it is a question of safety, all right? Now, I was told that there would be two midwives here, two from the outset, and that hasn't happened. This is Mary, the other midwife. Hiya. I want it to stay. I am paying, and it's staying. Poor baby right. should be born in hospital. Yeah. Oh, OK. Has, um, Jemima? Uh, her waters are broken. She's fully dilated, but contractions have stopped. I'm not surprised. All right. Why don't you try and take your mind off all of this and have them go to see Dad? Did you 
just come out of there? Yes, I did, yeah. Are you William? I am, yes. Gracious. Your father buried my husband. Did he? Mm. 1971, and, and you, Sam, loved one another with a true heart fervently. You and another chorister. Yes, I remember. I was 12. Oh. Would you like to come in and have a sit down? Yes, thank you. Um, are you sure this is the right place for that? Well, it's not the right place for any of it, is it? Should be in hospital. Excuse me. Sorry, um, which way do the main joists run? I beg your pardon? Well, it's just that you're putting an awful lot of water in there. Are you the chartered surveyor? No, you're the midwife. Let's stick to our own job, shall we? And yours happens to be downstairs with my wife. Sorted. Yeah. How's things? Contractions aren't back yet. Oh, they'll come. Doris was telling me you just slept with an undertaker. <laughs> Thanks, Doris. It's all right to have a seat there. How about a cup of tea? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I'm sure it won't happen before Monday night because uh, I think Ronnie's going to win again, and uh, I'd like to see that. But, but just in case, I've been to the bank and taken all my money out so that I can pay you for my funeral, which will uh, probably be next Friday. Right, I see. You were on your way here. Uh, to see you, yes. I I is that convenient? What else did he tell you? Uh, he has two daughters, teenagers. Um, his wife's dead, but who knows? He's in a band, I do know that. Yeah, and he took her to a hotel, and she told me he was a really great shag. <laughs> I didn't say that, I didn't. I said that I really liked him, and I did, I did. I remember exactly what you said. You said he had really great hands. <laughs> I think where they'd been. <laughs> yeah, but where do we put ours all day? <laughs> Okay. So some concentration, some breathing, okay? That's it, breathe through the contraction. How, how much is left? £1,247.65. Uh, that's after the funeral? Yes. Right. Now, it, it wouldn't be nice for my boys if... If I wasn't found for a while, but it wouldn't be nice for anyone. So if I gave you a key to my house, how much would it cost for you to pop in and check every other day or so to, to see if I'm dead? Why don't we call your sons? No, no, they're, they're very busy. Very busy boys. I, I don't want to bother them. And I don't want social helpers. <laughs> I'm dying, that's all. I don't need help with that. Just someone to drop round so the cat next door doesn't come in and eat me. <laughs> Perhaps you don't want to do it? Of course I'll do it. Oh, good. How much? Oh, there's no charge. Oh, I insist. I pay my way, I always have. Name the price. Two pounds a visit? No, 15. Five. Take 15. I, I, I think you'll make a profit. Now, um, can we divide the rest of the money into two envelopes for Desmond and Malcolm? And I can put them on the mantelpiece with a phone number for you to ring when, uh, uh, when I'm gone. I, I don't want them to pay tax on it, you see. And they can buy themselves a new car each with six hundred pounds. Alistair? <gasps> Alistair, Jemima wants you. She needs you now. I, I 
asked my Sydney once if he was scared of dying, and he said he was. But, but he hoped that when the time came, he'd be so worn out he, he wouldn't mind. It wasn't like that for him in the end. But it's how it is for me. There you are. There. Now, now, you don't have to check me until the day after tomorrow. Right, what if I'm passing before then? Well, don't come when Ronnie's on. Ronnie? Run you, Sullivan, the snooker player. Ah, right. Well, I, I won't come when that's on then. Bye, Viney. Bloody hell! It's amazing. Alistair. Did you run the thing? Alistair, yeah, yeah, she's beautiful. Alistair, did you turn the tap off? No, no, no! Sorry. <laughs> no need to baptize her now! <laughs> oh, come on, Dad. It's Mont Blanc. It's the Alps. I could practice my French, please. No. Why not? I don't like skiing. It's not skiing, it's snowboarding. You don't even know what snowboarding is. Katie, I'm not going to change my mind, OK? What's the point in sending us to the school if we can't join in? Ready? Yeah. Bye, Mum. See you later. Uh, homework. We've done it. Good, so let me see it. First. Yeah, this is it. We've got taken a book we've read and talk about it. You haven't read that book. You've only seen the video of it. Oh, so what? So the book is nothing like the film, I'm afraid. And I know because I've read it. Oh man, you're in trouble. Bye, Mum. Oh, um, sorry. Only I'm. Um... Laying the tiles and varnishing. How long is this going to take, Rick? Um, should finish today. Great. And then I'd rather you didn't do any more jobs unless I ask, OK? In fact, I'd, I'd rather you didn't come round at all unless I ask. It, 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 it's not fair on either of us. Have you met someone else? <sighs> well, even if I had, it's, it's really none of your business, is it? Look, I, I'm not interested, Rick. It's not what I want, all right? And you can't win me back by, by doing jobs for me all the time. I just... Just don't even try. I bought you a, a lat and a croissant. Latte. <laughs> well, whatever it is, I know you like it. Oh, and there's one for Molly. I'm scared that trust once broken is gone forever. It's like taking a blind person by the arm and walking them into a lamppost. Why would they ever want to go any further with you? Cappuccino from Rick. Mm, it's all right. Don't knock, just come in. Mum, if you want privacy, get a place of your own. Or put a lock on the door, hmm? But don't ask Rick to do it. This is Thomas. Viney. Little tray is fast asleep on a can. A brick platform heated from underneath by a stove. It's William. On cold nights, the whole family sleeps on the can. Because in winter, the temperature here can fall to 17 degrees below freezing. Oh. And it hardly ever rains. Oh. Oh. Uh. Finally. Finally, it's, it's William, William Shawcross. 
love one another with a true love, fervently. <laughs> w will you sing that at my funeral? Oh, Viney, I'm a tenor now, and that's for trebles. But I could arrange for a couple of choristers to sing it. Oh, like it was for both my husbands, yes. I didn't know you were married twice. My first was run over by a Lancaster bomber in the war. I'm sorry. He won a medal for it. <laughs> My wife was run over by a car. Was she? Oh, I am sorry. Was she the love of your life? No, she wasn't. No, mine wasn't. But. But have you met someone else? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Write her a letter. Write who a letter? Mary. I've never sent anyone a letter in my life. So, think what it would mean. A letter from the heart's a very powerful thing. It touches you. You learn about these things, you... You'd never normally learn. He can't interrupt, you see. All he can do is read about these feelings that really matter. Like trust and looking after someone. No, don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to help you. I know what to put. No, thanks. No, thanks. She doesn't want me, Molly. You're not giving up. Don't tell me you're giving up. She doesn't want me. She told me to my face. So write her a letter. No, I'm going to do the floor and go. I love her to bits, Molly. I'm never going to find anyone like her again. I'm not even going to try and look, but she doesn't love me. Never has, never will. I've seen it in her eyes, so... I'm going out. You posted her a letter? Well, I couldn't call her. Well, you know her address. Go round and see her. Go round and tell her you miss her and you love her. Or just knock on the door. But what have you got to lose? <laughs> Everything if you don't. Nothing if you do. You sure? <laughs> no. But if it hadn't been for that Lancaster bomber, I'd never have met my Sydney. Oh, what's the time? Nearly 11. Good. Snooker's on. Thanks for this. No, no, I'm looking forward to it. This dating agency has got it coming to him. Good, because I'm in the wrong frame of mind. I keep thinking there must be some kind of explanation, you Harry, know. he's lied to you, he's cheated you, he hasn't even bothered to call you. I know. So I just know. keep thinking about that. Keep thinking he's an absolute total bastard. Yeah. There's your explanation. Yeah, right? you're right. You're right. I know you're right. Thank you. Sorry, tell me again. <laughs> what is this? Temporary insanity. Look, you have been treated appallingly. I can't help it. Yeah, OK, listen. I'm in charge, all right? That's what you described him as. That's what he told Mary he was, and that's who she went to bed with, a community worker. And let me tell you how that was for Mary. Let me tell you what she had to do when she came round to my house the night she found out. She had to take a shower when she got there. She had to scrub herself. Because, let's face it, would you go to bed with an undertaker? We obviously understand how distressing this must have been for you. And really, I can't apologise enough. It must have been absolutely... Then get your chequebook out. We will, of course, return your fee in full. <laughs> this has gone far beyond a simple refund. I'm sorry, did you have something in mind? Solicitors? A malpractice claim? A court case? Yeah, we've got a few good ideas. Have a look at this. It's a press release. Now, I don't know if you know the journalist Philip Peterson. This is his latest piece. <sighs> we thought we'd send it to him first. I mean, if you can come up with an arrangement that's satisfactory, we're only too happy to tear that up. Are you trying to blackmail me? Let <laughs> me see it. Let me see <laughs> it. <laughs> £2,500. You were brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. What are you going to do with it? I don't know. I've never had so much money. Use it. Don't fritter it away. <laughs> Do something with it. Blow it. I will. <laughs> 
something uh you don't happen to know where mary gilcrest lives do you yeah of course you do oh great where here she's my mum oi oh, sorry. can you lend us a couple of quid try the tool belt why was it i don't know some bloke for mum He's gone. Just want some chips. Thanks, Rick. See you later. What was his name? Did he give you a name? Been out. Is he not at school? Oh my god! Yeah, it's a bit yellow. A bit! And too shiny. It looks like a cow's urinated all over it. I was trying to think what it looked like. He's in the kitchen floor. Peace offering. I look at you and I see myself. I don't want you to be like me. Bad at picking men. I want you to be with someone you can trust. It's like... I've always been blind. And a succession of men have taken my arm and walked me into lampposts. Lampposts? Yeah. And they all tell you it won't happen again. But it does. It's lamppost after lamppost after lamppost. So you turn to someone who promises you they're not like that. And they go and walk you into a bus stop or a litter bin or something. So in the end, you're walking down the street like. So that's why I want you to be with Rick. Oh. He won't do that to oh. you. Oh. I thought you were trying to tell me something about yourself. But he loves you. <sighs> Mum, thanks for the chocolates, but I don't want to be with Rick. and how many times have you done it? And don't lie to me. There's a lot at stake here. That was the first. I said, don't lie. On my dad's life, that was the first. Oh, on your dad's life? I know he never remembers birthdays or anything, but he's still my dad. Ugh, just get in your room. The first time. Yeah. I didn't even know where to go or what to do. That's why I came straight home. Terence, you've just walked in the door. No. I was here before. I borrowed some money off Rick for some chips. I'll ask him. Okay. 
So what was all that yesterday with your ankle? Which incidentally seemed fine today when you ran off. I'm not good at school. Of course you're not. How can you be? You don't work. I do. Terence, you had not done your homework for today, had you? No, because you can't be bothered. And that's what gets me, because you're as bright as Brendan, probably brighter. The only difference is he does his homework. He works. I do it most times. Properly. You don't do it properly. What's the point of that? Well, this is all going to change, because I'm coming in to see your teachers. Joking me. Why? What do you think I should do? What are you doing now? Give me a bollocking. Yeah, but idle, lazy people don't mind getting a bollocking, do they? No, I'm going to find out where you are in each subject and you're going to start working like you've never worked. And if there is sufficient and sustained improvement by Easter, if you work so I know you're working, then I'll take you and Brendan out to see your dad. OK? I've got the money. All you have to do is match it with the effort. I'd do anything to see my dad. Rick, what are you doing? It's still wet. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. A man came round for you earlier, he left this. I'm not giving up. I came round. I want, I want to explain. I want you to explain. So what's wrong with tomorrow in the day? Why don't you suggest that? Well, I'm working. You mean doing a funeral? Two, actually. All right. Well, what are you doing now? Uh, well, the girls have got their music lessons, so... Actually, no. Are you at home? You can't come round to here. Well, I'm going to be in your area. Someone from work. He's got a girlfriend. No, he hasn't. I could stick new tiles on top. Oh, oh no, no thanks. I'll, I'll get someone else to do it. Are we really going to do this, Mum? We're doing it. When? Well, first of all, we've got to find out exactly where your father is. And then we've got to find out when we can get the cheapest flights. Have a look in there. How are we going to find out where Dad lives? Listen, we'll work it out later, OK? I've got to go out. I won't be long. Um, bye then, Mary. Um, I'll be off soon and, and, well, what you said about not coming round. Oh, yeah, great. Thanks. Sorry about the floor. It, it's fine. See ya. He lied to you, OK? He lied to you, he cheated you. Hi. Hello. Hi. Thanks for coming. Uh, I know it's only for a few minutes, but um, that's good to see you. Did my letter make any sense? Will you see me? I want to see you. Yeah, I think I got the gist. No, not my note, my letter. What letter? I sent you a letter. You should have got it this morning. 
Well, that hasn't arrived. What did it say? Do you think I'm making it up? You think I didn't send one? Well, how do I know? I can practically recite it. I know it off by heart. Go on, then. Hang on a minute. Don't read that bit. That's not in the letter. Get off. You don't think I'd just come round like that, do you, without apologising? What? What? The dating agency told you to say you were a community worker. Well, they said I wouldn't get much response if I said that I was Yeah, 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 I can read. Shut up. It's not a bad letter. What's that word, that one? Lamp post. Don't you like that bit? I thought it was quite good. But can I have this? Uh, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll call you later. I don't understand. Are we going to meet up again? Oh, yes. I have questions. I have lots of questions. So, you only came round because you thought I got your letter? Yeah, it wasn't my idea, though. It was a little old lady's. I'll tell you later. Hey, Mum, there's loads of waffles on the flights to the States. Yeah, but we don't know where we're going. And how are we going to find Dad? Recognise the writing. Recognise this paragraph. Walking into lampposts. Uncanny, isn't it? I want my letter back, please, and then I want you out of this flat. I don't care where you go, but I don't want you here. Give me my letter. Mum! Stay out of it. I thought it was addressed to Molly Gilchrist. I thought it was for me. Don't be ridiculous. Well, I know it's Come stupid, on. but... We're going out to eat. I want you gone by the time we get back. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> Pete. Why so happy? Oh, you know, sometimes life looks up. So can I go snowboarding, then? <laughs> He's got a girlfriend. That was not a definite no. So is that from the bloke who came around today? Yeah. Is he your boyfriend? Oh. Do you remember that CG I gave you? Oh, it's the guy in the band. Yeah. Safe, Mum. <laughs> but he's also, um... An undertaker. <laughs> safe, Mum. Yes, yeah, safe. Do you know how stupid it sounds when you two say that? Safe, Mum. Does any of this affect going to see Dad? No, of course it doesn't. But we do have a problem now that Molly's gone. Like, what happens when I'm on nights? We don't need looking after. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Viney. Viney? It's William. Viney. Oh, Viney. I saw her. She called. And I saw her. And I'm seeing her again. God bless you, Viney. The good news or the bad news, William? Well, I don't have to do nights until I get someone to sort out the boys. I have to do all day Sunday instead. I know, I know. How about Monday? Monday morning? Monday morning. Monday morning's good. Same time, same place. It's a date. 
It's a very important... Unmissable, unmovable date. <laughs> yeah. Mary, I think I've got to go now. All right, I'll see you then. Bye. Yes, bye. 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 Morning. William Shawcross, The Undertaker. Keith? May I offer you my condolences? Won't even cover costs. How much is a funeral? Actually, your mother's already paid for that. Would you like to see her? She's not here, is she? No. No, I want to remember as she was. What are you doing? Red for you, blue for me, and I'm having that. Well, when would you like the funeral? Oh, soonest, didn't it? Uh, Monday morning? After me. Yeah, Monday morning might be a bit difficult. Double booked. It's Monday morning or I'll go somewhere else. It's up to you. She asked. It's fine. Hi. Yeah. Monday afternoon then. Okay. <laughs> Bye, William. Mary. Please. Change your mind. I can't, Mum, I'm sorry. I know I was bad. I know I did a wrong thing, but... Mum, you came for six weeks in time back in the last century. Oh, it wasn't as long as that. It was 18 months ago at least, and you came for a visit. This isn't your home. Can't you forgive me? I'm sure I can, yeah. But I can't live with you anymore. Sorry. funeral at 11. Yes, I know. I'll just go and find them again. Uh, way to go ahead. They can't make it. No, it suddenly occurred to me that if she hadn't told you to come round, then you would never have left that note, and I'd never have known you'd written that letter. And, oh, I don't know. Would we ever have seen each other again? Probably not. How did you know I was here? Phoned William Shawcross and son. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
you want to come back for lunch? To my house, not the office. Just somewhere quiet to talk. Just talking, right? Yeah, this is um, clearing everything up. Straightening things out, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, OK. <laughs> I'm sorry you were lied to. Oh, by the way, you're still a community worker in bed. I, I can't handle the truth and sex yet. How could they tell you to lie like that? What, what kind of dating agency are they? One that wants to make money. You went along with it? Well, because in my experience, when you tell people you're an undertaker, they don't, on the whole, say, well, hey, let's go out together. <laughs> but I had to come out. You're telling me. But you made it easy. You said, don't let's talk about work. Oh, it's my fault. Hmm. Oh. Well, I've got a problem. <laughs> no, not that kind of problem. <laughs> Can you get my bag? Where is it? Downstairs. OK. <laughs> Afternoon, Mrs. Ball. Excuse me. <laughs> Mrs. Ball's here. A housekeeper. It's oh. all right, you don't have to go. But maybe get dressed? No, she won't come in here. She's just uh, seeing me in a new light. Oh. What did you want to show me? I complained. Well, my friend complained. Well, actually, she threatened them. We could do all the dating agencies. The thing is, I promised to take the boys to see their dad on that as a bribe. But if you and me are... Well, the dating agency did their job. Look at us. Cash it. You think? Yeah, no one's ever going to know. Cash it. Why do you need to bribe your boys? <sighs> Terence, my youngest. You met him. Yeah. I caught him bunking off school. And it's not a great school, so if he doesn't work... Well, why don't you move him? Move school? Because the others are even worse. You see, we've got two private schools in our catchment area. Good ones, too. I hate them. No, that's not true. I'd love my boys to go to schools like that. What I hate are the parents who buy their children an advantage at the expense of mine, because that's what happens. I mean, what do you do? You've got St Hilda's round here. What effect does that have on you? Don't you look at the parents driving their lovely girls to their lovely schools and think, bastards. See, that's the problem. Everybody wants everything to be OK. They don't want to think they're being cheated, but they are. We're all being cheated. <sighs> Sorry. Pet hate. What school do your girls go to? Well... No. What? Oh. Mary! What, you think I just say those words? Mary! Mary! I can't be with someone like you. I despise people like you! Well, let me explain. You... Explain what? Why your children deserve better than mine? Drop dead and bury yourself. If school has only just finished, then how come you're home so early? I said you'd be out. What do you think you're doing? But I've read on the floor and I spilled varnish all over myself.
I'm not the greatest father. I'm out of my depth. I'm not around all the time. The only female influence in their lives was Mrs. Ball, so I sent them to an all-girls school. So they just might get the support that I can't give them. That's why they go to St. Hilda's, OK? <sighs> Well, I, I used to live with him, but it was a long time ago. Safe, Mum. Safe. 